Hi guys, this is Army Tricks from uh, from Game Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to open multiple Steam accounts or TF2 accounts at the same time, as you saw in the title. So to do this, you're going to need Sandboxy. Sandboxy is like a program that will just separate your program from the rest of your computer so you can just run it individually. Sandboxy was originally made to take care of viruses and trojans so you can just run them in a separate box and then take care of them afterwards. So let's get started. First of all you'll need to install Sandboxy and I'll leave a link to Sandbox in the description and then you just need to install it and run through all of that very quickly and then you'll end up with something a bit like this. You'll have one box called Sandbox Default Box and you want to leave that al alone for now. So then what you want to do is go into Sandbox up here and click Create New Sandbox. And you can name this whatever you want. So I'm just going to call this um, Steam and hit enter so yeah it will come up with sandbox steam then you need to right click that and go into sandbox settings and in sandbox settings you may you may need to change a few things leave this as it is and you will want to go into restrictions drop rights and make sure this is unticked it most likely is by default but just to check you should make sure that, that is unticked then you want to go into resource access file access direct access and you want to find something that says steam.exe here to do that you need to go to add program and it probably most likely isn't here so you'll just need to go into open or select file to browse I'm going to C or wherever you save your files, program files x86 and you'll need to go and find Steam over here. Open that up and go ahead and find this and hit OK. Once you've done that it's ready just ignore that exclamation mark there and you can just click OK. Ignore that and now you're basically done. Now what you want to do is right click this, run sandbox, run any program and you want to go ahead and find Steam. So I'm going to local disk C, program files 86 and find Steam here, right here. Head on down, double click Steam and hit OK. Now once you've done that, Steam should launch, and it just has. Here we go. Just type your name and password in, and it should launch. By the way, that yellow border there just lets you know that it's inside Sandbox, which is a pretty useful feature. You can change that on any, diff any box by right-clicking and heading into Sandbox Settings. Okay, now this is launching. And once this has launched, we will need to launch our normal version of Steam again. Don't worry about that. I'm going to all games. There we go. Now we have Steam loaded. This is inside. Um, this this one is basically inside Sandbox, as I said. And now we just need to launch Steam normally from Start button and Steam, or your shortcut on desktop and log into the same account or a different account if you have one hit enter and it should load without detecting that you are on a different account okay done now you're logged in on the same account twice now the sandboxed account which is here you can launch tf2 and with that you can idle and collect hats this one you can play online TF2 however you like while you're idling on this version of TF2. So now we're done. And if you have any complaints or anything, put it in the comments and I'll try and reply as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and look out for more videos. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.